Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookGoingMe.com. I'm Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And today I needed to make some ephemera sets, uh, some things that I'm running low on in my stash, you know, pre-made ephemera pieces. And since we've organized, you know, we did that organizational um, video last week. And since I've done that and filled up a journal, two journals actually, now I'm running low on stuff. So I need to make some things. I want to make some fold outs today. I want to make some tags that have um, room on the back for journaling. I want to make some trim front belly band pockets and we'll get to we'll get to all that in a minute but um, that's what is on my agenda today and I just thought I would take y'all along for the ride this is book page that I altered with that wax last week from Prima that we have in the shop and I have more of this wax ordered especially the patina green and the rose gold that's the two most popular and they are sold out so um, I have more of that on order these are some pieces that we got from a subscriber and they didn't leave their name or anything they just said they sent this big box of goodies to me and mom and um, said in it from a subscriber no name so I want to make some tags out of this this stuff is just beautiful and it's just screaming to be made into tags and then I have some of Miss Betty Ann Renfro's um, digitals and I want to finish cutting out these tags and do some of those with some coffee dyed paper on the back of them since I printed those on white cardstock I think that's about 80 pound cardstock that I printed those on and then I have her little uh, vintage checks and then her botanical tags and these I think are okay industrial grunge alpha and numbers Betty's custom design over on Etsy and I will link her Etsy shop in the description box below I've got some uh, just a cut off from a 12 by 12 of craft card stock that I know I will need eventually while making all this especially for my fold outs because I want to start out doing those let me show you with her little check things now these would also make beautiful pockets for your journals so either way you want to use them now these are just printed on regular old copy paper so I'll have to bag them but I wanted to cut out a couple of these and show you how I'm going to make fold outs yeah Betty's custom design on Etsy okay I'm going to do these three for right now so let's do these I'm going to just cut them with my trimmer and see just regular old copy paper these are printed on so they need a little reinforcement on the back and just line it up and get rid of most of the white I mean once you mount it on some cardstock then ink around the edges you won't even know it was printed on white paper so we have had a very 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 full <laughs> couple of weeks and um, usually I'm getting a video out on Monday this is Tuesday when I'm recording this video but I didn't get a chance to get one out yesterday and today is the actual date of my 25th wedding anniversary um, a lot of you saw on Facebook where my husband um, treated me to a little getaway overnight getaway that he planned all in all on his own he did not I mean he surprised me with it he had all the paperwork kind of printed out and um, presented it to me after the fact got one of my places that I'd always wanted to visit off of my bucket list everybody's got a bucket list you've got a bucket list right he got one of those 
marked off. Um, it is a little place in Florence, Alabama, so we didn't have to go far. Florence, Alabama called 360 Grill. It is a restaurant up on, I mean, it's in a tower. It's, it looks like um, Rapunzel's Tower. I'm not kidding you. I had pictures on Facebook. So it's in this really tall tower. You get on an elevator, and I mean, it feels like you are going forever in that elevator to get up to it. And while you're up there, after they seat you, you have a 360 degree view of everything around you. And Florence, Alabama is a beautiful town. Large, large, large uh, waterway runs straight through it. They have um, a water facility um kind of like a treatment plant but not and it it is a um there's a dam there also and it's constantly got water just flowing out of it. it's beautiful uh, our hotel room which is connected to the restaurant we walked out on our balcony and we were like front row looking at that dam and seeing all that water it was gorgeous right on the river um and in the restaurant the floor actually rotates and I had always wanted to go to that restaurant and Brandon remembered that and so he got us reservations at the restaurant he got us a night stay at that Marriott um, and there is a spa connected to that Marriott and he got us couples massages I mean he did big it was I told him it was like the ultimate date night for married people, of course. <laughs> and I just so enjoyed it. It was so fun. I sat and just stared out those windows. And we got there at the restaurant. Our reservations were right at sunset. And so we got some beautiful pictures. And then we got to um, enjoy the restaurant and all the views right at sunset so daylight and in the evening and all the lights that they had around the place it was just gorgeous very romantic and I love my hubby to death but he is not the most romantic person man out there so it was just a shock to me that he had planned all of that <laughs> I was very very shocked and very very grateful that he did it. It was a night I will always remember. And um, <laughs> the dinner bill is something that he will always remember. Because <laughs> it is, I mean, pretty much fine dining as far as we go. <clears throat> when um, people ask us, what's the fanciest place you've ever been to to eat? You know, most of the time it's like Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> or somewhere like that so or Longhorn so anyway you know they bring you sparkling water to the table and uh, you have four courses five courses to choose from and um, you know all these forks and stuff on the <laughs> table and for country bumpkins like us we were like oh wow this is super duper fancy, but it was so good. Our waitress was wonderful. It was just a really, really good night. <laughs> but anyway, today is the actual date of our anniversary, February the 7th. We went away and got married. We eloped, and it wasn't for reasons that most people get eloped nowadays it was just some circumstances that we needed to do that and um, no Aaron Jonas did not come along until two and a half years later so <laughs> uh, that was not the reason for our elopement but I'm telling you we saved lots and lots and lots of money but anyway, we um, got married in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we still go to Gatlinburg uh, and Pigeon Forge all the time. It's like our second home. We love it up there. So it was a, 
um, very good destination wedding. That's what they call them nowadays. <laughs> Instead of we went and got hitched, it's a, oh, it's a destination wedding. Okay. And I'm going to trim this off with my scissors. I'm afraid my trimmer is not sharp enough. I need to change that blade again. Okay, and then I think one more of Miss Betty Ann's. I think these are script tags. I think that's what those are. And um, I'm just going to see if I can't get that. Um, nope, look at there. It kind of eat it up. Oh, well, we'll have a very distressed tag. Um, <laughs> I have some more digitals I'm about to print off and show you. I had asked Miss Betty for something and she delivered once again, but I've got to check and see if she has it on her website, her Etsy shop, or if this is, these are coming up as a freebie. I got to check that, but I am going to show y'all. They're so pretty. And I'll show you that in just a minute. It's a two-sheeter. All right. I just went ahead while we were sitting here gabbing and cut out the rest of these tags. And then we're going to get back to the fold-outs. It is always easier for me if I make a list for myself to know, okay, this is what you need to work on so I don't get lost in the process, you know? Because I tend to do that. I tend to get lost and forget what I'm doing and then go in a totally different direction. And I have um, ADD a little bit when it comes to making ephemera. I'm going to cut this little piece of branding strip off of this Basil craft card stock. And then I'm going to measure these little darlings here. So we're looking at five inches long by two and a quarter. A little bit over maybe two and a quarter wide. Let's make sure all of them are that length. This one's a little bit shorter than that one. But all are five inches long. Okay, I still think I'll just make them the same width. So this is, I think this is still 12 inches long. Yes, so I'm going to cut it down to 10 using Miss Betty's length. So I'm doubling the length. These are 5 inches, so I'm making this 10 inches because we're going to fold it in the middle. And then I'm going to go to two and a half wide so they can fit on there very nicely and have a little bit of a mat back behind them. And make us some nice little fold outs with these. Okay. Put my trimmer up. And then I'm going to fold these in half. And you can use your scoreboard if you think you need it, but I'm just folding it in half and going with it. Get my bone folder. Alright, so I have these folded like this. I'm going to do two of them so they can be page fold outs this way. And then I'll do one where it's a page fold out for a left page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is they should fit perfectly, just pretty much right on there. They go over just a little bit. I can trim it up. Okay, so I'm going to glue these on to this craft and then go around and ink all of it. And then I would glue this part down. And then when you attach it to your page in your journal, you have a fold out with lots of journaling space. So I'm going to ink around the front and then ink around the inside also. And I think I'm going to use, just to be a little different, I think I'm going to use my Hickory Smoke. The new to us 
hickory smoke and I need to get a new pad for that. Um, we have the reinkers, the little Tim Holtz mini reinkers in the shop. We have the foam pads, the refill packs of those. So anybody that needs refills or the mini blending tool, we keep those stocked. So hickory smoke it is. I'm going to glue these on. And while I have been waiting for these to dry on here, <laughs> I went away and did a little bit of playing around with my wax melts that I got from Crispire. Um, so I have this one and I'm know you're thinking okay how did you get the words on the front I'll show you in just a second and this one I wanted it to be a little um, I wanted it to be smaller a little bit thicker a little more grungy looking look at that how pretty that looks okay so I have some gold wax in my burner over here and I will show you how I got wording on here I have some printed deli paper that I got from my Taperlogy box and that's where my little round pieces come from so I am using the one inch paper punch and deli paper you know and punches don't usually go don't usually play well together so you might have to just pull and yank a little bit but I have these little one inch circles. Here is my gold wax going down. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Gold wax going down. And then my little paper piece right in the middle. Deli paper, it's not burning or anything. It's good. And then my flat. This is the one that doesn't have any um, wording impression emboss piece at all it's just the flat one the flat face disc whatever so I'm going to see how that one looks I love how these look I had some pink left over <laughs> in here and had not cleaned it out and I just put some white with it and it made that little marbled look I love that. I pressed that one just a little too hard so it got really, really big. So that's too big for these little fold outs. But that one is just darling. I love that one. I want to add it somewhere on here. I got some white ink out while I go too. So I got that on me with some fabric or something back behind it after I ink it up, of course. I have inked this one with that hickory smoke and I love the look at it. Oh, of it not at it well yeah I like to look at it too I need to trim this off just a bit and then ink that a little bit more but I love the look of that <laughs> let's get this little lavender and yeah I got all of my wax supplies from Crispire and I will link them in the description box below if you want to get some of your own. I know a lot of people already have um, wax melts and stuff so just use what you got. I went and got a silicone mat because my little marble circle wasn't doing what I wanted, to, wanted it to do. So I'm going to have to redo that gold one. So silicone matte. And this one is like a gold and lavender. Very pretty. I love that marbled look you get when you mix a couple of colors in with your wax. All right, and then that piece down. And then press down. And we will see how that one looks. Let's go ahead and put gold back in there yeah I have problems with that marble platform it doesn't like my wax for whatever reason so we're going with my silpat or my <laughs> silicone cooking mat baking mat get a couple of more 
circles punched from that deli paper. I love that paper that I got in my paper lodgy box. Whoa, knocking stuff over on y'all. Okay, let's do this one with that gold as soon as it melts. Look at that, how pretty. I love that. Love it. That one's still a little too big, but for these little things, it'll be just perfect for tags and stuff, a little, uh, little bit bigger things, but I want to put that on that one. So pretty. Our gold wax is almost melted, and I will get that laid down. All right gold very pretty it's a beautiful gold color wax put that back down put my deli paper over the top okay and one other thing i want to try in the middles of my wax melts or my wax seals I have dried baby's breath. I've had it forever. Just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. And this is one thing I would love to do with it. So let's get some more wax going. We're going to do this peachy color right here. Kind of a peachy gold. And then let's look at this gold one we just finished. Love it. I love the ridge on the one side. That is pretty. I like that. And you could do any kind of paper on in the middles. It doesn't have to be deli paper at all. Okay, let's finish this one. We've got to ink it. Remember, I'm using the hickory smoke for the first time. Inking it all around. All right, let's get this corally peachy one put down. And some baby's breath in the middle of it. Maybe a little dot of the wax on top. And then press. Okay, uh, for my next one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use up this last circle of deli paper. I'm just going to use two, and I'm going to do this really chocolate brown color. Put that in there to melt. All the rest of these have been three. Well, that one was two, but all the rest have been three. And let that set a little bit. I've got all of my fold outs. I've got them inked and now these had already been started as far as fussy cutting so I'm going to fussy cut these butterflies. Okay let's reveal this one see what it looks like. <laughs> okay so it needs probably something in the middle but it is cute. just like that with maybe something glued in the middle of it that would be good it kind of got up over the top of all of my <laughs> baby's breath so here's the just two wax melts and it's that chocolate brown color i wanted this one to be small okay and then I'm going to put my deli paper just on top of it and then press it down. And we shall see what that one looks like. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, that is a good size right there. I like that. That's a good size. I'll make a few more of those because it's just the perfect size for those one inch. So if you've got some wax melts too, does really good for the one inch um, circle punch. So if you want to make some of those, just use two. These are using three and these are two here. 
okay all right let's finish these fold outs and then get on to our other two things that we need okay i have three butterflies fussy cut out and then i think i'm going to add this big one onto this fold out with that little baby's breath thing i think that's very pretty and then this one i have a little piece of lace trim and then that wax melt and then the little butterfly somewhere it's going to go somewhere it might go off to the edge or something but i like that little trio on that one and then this one already has a circle on it so i think i'm just going to put that fussy cut butterfly there so let's glue these on so that one on that and I'll show you what it can look like in a journal on a page so you've got your you could oh you could even just glue down the three sides on the back and so now you have a pocket and a fold out for writing on and see how easy that was simple 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 that is what I'm all about is simple ephemera um let's do i'm going to put my wax melts on with glue dots that is what i have found just holds them better for me uh, you could use some fabric glue i'm sure double-sided tape probably works really well but i have noticed that regular old liquid glue doesn't work for me so i'm going to put on three glue dots i use these quite often the glue dots um i don't know if anybody else does it they don't really give that much dimension so you know i don't have an issue with that but um, we don't carry them in the shop because we don't sell a lot of them when we do carry them so we just decided not to carry them anymore but if you use glue dots the clear glue dots and i'm not talking about the dimensional things if you use those and would like to see them just let me know and i can keep a few in stock for you hey we would rather you buy from us than go to a big box store and that's the truth that is the truth of the matter Okay, let's go with, I think maybe this needs to go up instead of sideways because everything else is a little sideways. Oh yeah, that's better. I might even come down a little bit with that. So let's do some glue dots on the back of this one. And sometimes they come off really well when you do it that way and then sometimes they're a little ornery. And you have to pull them off with your fingers. Just do whatever works for you. And I'm going to go there and I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to, oh yeah, I think I'm going to glue that on there. All right, so there are my three fold outs that took literally no time and would make great journal spots with a pocket back behind it just for, from some scrap cardstock and Miss Betty and Renfro's um, checks or what were they called Betty? They are actually called banknotes. Her vintage banknotes. That's what those are. Okay. I will have you a um, close up still shot at the end of those three. So I have inked around the edges of all of these ticket um, tags <laughs> with the hickory smoke oxide ink and now i'm going to back them on to some tea stain paper all right i have all of these backed with the tea stain paper and inked all around with my hickory smoke ink and i did a few of these also back them with some tea stain paper i just need to cut the edges with my diagonal punch from we are memory keepers um, they are currently <laughs> out of stock 
of these so I don't know I'm hoping that they are trying their best to get them made up but like everybody else in the United States just having a hard time with production right now they're doing the ketchup game like everybody else is I guess it's hard getting product in y'all it's been a rough um, six months as far as that goes um, I think 2020 all that pandemic stuff and I know that we're still dealing with all that but um, 2020 was a rough year and it got the manufacturing community in an uproar and people not working and um, so that was rough on them. I think that is catching up with some of these as far as supply and demand. It's been very hard to get some of this stuff that we're wanting and needing for the shop. So I appreciate y'all for being patient with us. Now we need to put some tabs at the top. I think I'm going to do tab uh, fabric instead of tassels, you know, with the loose. And then I cut out a few of these from the Industrial Grunge Alphas and Numbers from Miss Betty's shop. And I thought I could do a couple with these on there. All of them don't have to be all decorated up. I'm just kind of wanting some basic. Oh yeah, I like that one on that too. I'm just kind of looking for some basic tags and stuff that can pretty much be used anywhere on any of my projects. And these are so pretty, I don't want to cover them up at all on the front. So maybe just some fabric tabs up there and we'll put the rest of our seals, our little wax seals on these. Oh, I like that idea fast and easy. So let's go ahead and glue these down on the three I want them on. Betty Ann makes um, junk journaling so easy with her Etsy digitals. Love, love, love them. I'm just putting all of these in the same spot on each of my tags at a little bit of an angle. And then I think I have enough wax seals to add to the others. Yay. Okay. I'll put these in order for everybody that needs that. <laughs> okay. Four of these. I did a tiny, tiny little one with a fussy cut butterfly. And I think... Hmm, nah, let's add it to the bottom right, and I'm going to do a glue dot, maybe a couple of glue dots to get that added on. There's that, and it's thin enough, it's not going to give too much dimension to our junk journals. This chocolate one is so pretty. It needs to go that way, because garlic is written that way so let's do that one on there that one is super thin love that okay and then i like this home one that's so pretty and then maybe that gold one on there too love that let's go to this side for these pick my glue dots up with my little pick tool this is an old Cricut pick tool. I don't even have the Cricut that it went with anymore. You know, back in the day when Cricut had all those cartridges and it wasn't digital. Uh, since they've moved on to that, I'm not even really messed with a Cricut. It's just, I like stuff that comes together quickly and that is so time consuming for me. I know if I I sat down and took the time and retrained myself and then you know bought all the digital content that I needed then I know that I would love it I just with all that we have going on I don't have time 
So y'all that create with Cricut all the time, y'all are my heroes because I wish I could. All right, there is that. And now let's put on our little tabs at the top. And these are so much easier than um, trying to thread the stuff through and all of that. I'm getting some trim that came in my taper lodgy box oh that's pretty that would be pretty on that one so pretty so you need a little bit of a thicker trim to use as tabs so get the thick stuff and I think even that since it's curved it is, it is curved a little bit but I think that will still work and let's do one more maybe all right so you just want to fold over about like that so we're looking at three inches that's all you need three inches of trim ain't that beautimous I love it okay and what we're going to do is use a little bit of fabric glue and put that tab at the top of it and then you can even use your Tim Holtz tiny attacher too it does not have to be glue if you don't have glue fabric glue you can use your tiny attacher no problem whatsoever getting some glue off of my thumb okay and do the front first believe me <laughs> uh, just do it do the front first and then flip over and do the back when you're doing um, trim tabs it's just easier that way and uh, it turns out a lot better that way don't try to glue both sides at the same time <laughs> don't ask me how I know that okay so there that can be it you can be done or you can get your tiny attacher even while the glue is drying and put one on each edge just for a little bit more something something look at that how cute I love it there's one done let's put some more on let's do this one that is so pretty so let's measure out just go ahead and do three inches for every one of them glue about to come off so let's get that on there and let's glue our front first and then glue the back pretty see they don't all have to be wide tabs at all I think I'm going to try to go all the way down to the middle and staple that one on cute there's two let's do the rest of these this is that that's kind of it's kind of bowing so let's see if we can get three inches cut off of that and add it I think it'll work even though it's bowed on there we can kind of pick it up on this one let's do it on one of these big ones because those are tiny and let's do it on this one I've got that peachy color trim I want to put on that one to go along with that little butterfly there oh yeah I like that you could even um, like tea stain or coffee dye this I'm okay with it being white okay all the way down and then flip it over and put a little bit on the back of your tag once you get the fabric glue to come out so cute I like that and then let's do yeah let's go ahead and do this one three inches is about there that is a pretty color let's do these wider ones on these wider tags 
right across the top there and then flip it over oh that one is pretty i like that and i'm loving the staples on every one of them so i'm just giving every one of them some stapling cute and then when you put them in a pocket like let's find a pocket in here find a pocket this one's of course too big but when you put them in a pocket you've got that hanging out and if you do it on a side pocket it can be that tab can be hanging out of your journal how cute is that love it this is my idea journal so I don't have many pockets already put in here but there's the other end of that bag pocket put that down in there look at it how cute that is love it all right let's finish these and let's do i'm gonna do just a little i'm not gonna do three inches i'm gonna, gonna do a little one on this one since it is so tiny and i'm gonna flip the fabric and go this way so we're gonna make a little bitty one okay so the decorative side i want on the front here and then the planer side i'll put on the back and fold that over and tap it down so see just a tiny little bitty tug for the top looks like a little wedding veil <laughs> cute okay two more we're moving right along so let's do this for that one let's go ahead and do three inches on it i love this fabric that taper lodgy sent me so pretty let's cover up that hole that's on the front of the digital with my flowery trim and then flip it over and add on the back and I'll go all the way down the trim and put me a staple in the bottom look at it that's probably one of my favorites right there one more let's use this and let's go about here so maybe not three inches but I want to cover that up completely and that goes along with that little fussy cut butterfly we put down there at the bottom and then just barely attach it on the back here so we can have a pretty good tab okay and then I'm going to staple on the edges like so cute that's a lot more peachy than it's showing on camera okay I'm gonna close that up and get my trims put over and show y'all all of these and then we're gonna oh look we got three more we'll do that off camera no worries look at them how pretty tickets with tab fabric tabs at the top and then our fold outs and then we have lace um, belly band pockets that we're going to make so i'm going to back these papers they're pretty thin so i'm going to back these papers with some coffee dyed um, you can just back it with some plain copy paper if you want to because the backs are not going to be seen because this is going to be our pocket the body of our pocket and i'll back the other one with this scrap piece of card stock that i have here okay these two are going to be traditional pockets so the stuff will be in them this way this one is going to be a side pocket so we're going to tuck the stuff in that way so i'm going to do just 
barely do a little, you know, thumb hole grip there. And then on the tops of these here, try not to get, take out too much stuff that's beautiful on these pieces that we got gifted to us. Okay, and then I've already inked around the edges, so I'm just gonna ink my notches I just made there with the hickory smoke. Pretty. And then I want to put some fabric across them in different spots, and that's gonna be our belly bands on the fronts of the pockets. So it's gonna kinda decorate up your pocket without even you know having to do much decorating at all. The papers are beautiful anyway. So when we add fabric across the front, see that decorates them up a little bit and you don't have to do too much. So I'm gonna put this one here at the bottom. I'm gonna put these two across the middle and they're pretty much see-through so you're still gonna be able to see the butterfly stuff behind it, what you've made your pocket out of. I'm going to hold it like this and then cut my trim just like that. And then these little pieces will go in my trim giblets drawer just when I need a little tiny piece of trim to go on a cluster or something like that. This is some really pretty trim. This was all from Paperlogy. I have that linked in my description box below. So if you want to get some Paperlogy goodies, and like I said, I'll have my Crispire link too down there. And you can use my discount code too and get you some extra stuff because you're saving money with my discount code. All right, I've got some Fabrifix fabric glue and I am gluing that on one side and then putting the glue down to get it down on that side. It doesn't matter to me if the fabric is perfectly straight, if it's perfectly straight on the ends, none of that matters to me. So there's me a little fabric belly band on that pocket. And then this pocket gets some right in the middle. And then on this side, I'm truly, truly out of fabric y'all. <laughs> you would think me working at scrapbookingwithme.com, I would never run out of anything. But silly me forgets constantly. If I don't make myself list, I'm very visual. I gotta see it. So, I'm making myself list when I get done with this video. There's one side, and please let me have enough to get this other side glued down. I had to get mean and spiteful with it, but it worked. Okay, we're going to let these dry. Please do not put anything back behind your lace trims <laughs> until you've let it dry. That's got to happen. Um, I love that, but it covers up too much. And then I made this tiny little bitty coin looking Oh, I think I might put that on there. In between an image, maybe. Uh, let's see if we can get some of that baby's breath from earlier. Put in there. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's do a glue dot and get that adhered with the glue dot. And then, you know, my baby's breath all fall apart. Because that's what I need it to do, of course. And then... A little bit of liquid glue and I'm going to spread that around a little bit just to get that baby's breath 
adhered on. All right, I've let that liquid glue dry a bit and get a little bit tacky so it doesn't close up our lace belly band that we've got back there. Look at that, how cute! And then if we had um, a little tag or a ticket or piece of whatever, could put it back behind that belly band there in that pocket. How cute is that? Oh, I love that. Let's add, like if we had just a little piece of journaling paper or something like that. We've got a little belly band on the top of our pocket. And of course, in your journal, you would just put these down on three sides and put those in your journals like that. So you've got a pocket there and then you've got that little belly band on the front. How cute! I love these. Okay, so for this video, we covered a lot of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do these and I'm just going to do some seam binding on these. We covered a lot of stuff. So if you have any questions, need to know where the websites are that I mentioned, need to know where you can shop, things like that, leave me a comment below. And I have one more thing to share with you. A free digital, once I get these stapled on, I'm just going to staple these. I'm not going to worry about fabric glue because guess what? It's all gone. No more fabric glue. <laughs> so I'll have to see if I can't get my beautiful husband to bring me a bottle home from work. Okay, I've got that on. Good. And now for this one and our last one. Oh, I'm going in not numerical order. I did the number four, now I'm doing the number six. <laughs> okay, there's that one. And these are so neutral. They could go in any junk journal. Especially if you're doing grungy. The grungy look. These would be perfect for that junk journal, y'all. Okay, and get that one stapled on. Good, good, good. Um, now let me show you what's free on the website. And it is the Brandon and Melina Anniversary Freebie. Um, it will be on our blog, and I will leave a link to that also. Let me get all of this moved over, show you what the freebie is, and then show you everything that we made and get you some still shots. And here they are. It is Script Butterflies from Miss Betty Ann Renfro. And it is the freebie on the blog today. And I will leave you a link. This is our anniversary freebie to y'all. It is very neutral butterflies, but they have a script background. And then there is one that's kind of, you know, Eastery colors. I love those. I love both of them. I printed these off on cardstock. I printed this off on just regular copy paper. Fussy cut those bad boys out and add them to all of your ephemera pieces. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you so much, Miss Betty, for creating them for us. And we are passing our anniversary celebration on to you guys. And remember, you have to be a subscriber to my channel and Mom's channel at Scrapbooking With Me Crafts here on YouTube. You have to be a subscriber to both channels to be able to access our blog and get these freebies. So there is that. And then here is all of the pieces that we made in this video. I also have my wax warmer still going. So I believe <laughs> I will make a few more uh, wax seals and I'll show you those at the end also. Beautiful pieces and cool little ephemera sets that you can use together in a journal 
and they came together so quickly and easily. Great, great, great project. Y'all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Bye y'all.